Welcome to our statistics video on finding the mode of a set of scores. A mode is another measure of location. It tends to be in the center, around the center of a whole bunch of scores. The most popular score or the score that occurs the most is usually in the middle of the scores, but we'll have a look at the details of how to find the mode and what the mode of a set of scores is. Now, there's a couple of different ways of uh, saying this. It can be described in a, a bunch of different ways and different questions might sound very different but they're all talking about the same idea really. The mode is the score that occurs most often. The mode is the score that's got the highest frequency. It's another way of saying the same thing. And uh, sometimes the mode is the score that's the most popular. Uh, you know, what's your favorite number? Um, <laughs> the people who say uh, the particular number is their most favorite is uh, can, can be called the mode as well. So three different ways of saying really the same thing. We're looking for the score that occurs the most really. And one way of remembering this, and it's good to have a little bit of a trick to remembering some of these terms, because in statistics we have mean, median and mode and a lot of students get muddled up between them. Um, we have the word mode that we can write down there and if we concentrate on the first two letters it sort of tells us what the mode is. Mode is the score that occurs most often. So that's one way of remembering what the mode is most often. Concentrate on those first two letters and you might remember it. Let's have a look at a couple of examples. To find the mode we identify the score that occurs the most basically. Okay, so we've got a bunch of scores here. Find the mode there. Now you can see that a couple of these scores occur a couple of times. There's two eights, there's two sixes, but you can see that five occurs three times. So uh, we identify the score that occurs the most, uh, and that's the five. So the mode there is five. It's the score that occurs most often. In another example we have here, we have the 24s that occur a couple of times, there's 26s that occur a couple of times, and none of the scores occur more often than that. So this is going to be interesting. Identify the score that occurs most often. Now the 24s, uh, there's two of them, uh, but there's also two 26s. So can you have two modes? Well, you can kind of have uh, a mode that um, is equal first. So uh, the modes there are 24 and 26. And yes, we're allowed to have more than one mode. Uh, we can have more than two modes sometimes as well. But this set of values has two modes and we have a special name for it. We can say that this set of values is bimodal. It has two scores that occur the most. Um, and we can have uh, sets of values that are trimodal as well. So you are allowed to have more than one mode if there's a tie for how many times those uh, scores occur. So the mode, lots of different ways of sort of asking a, a mode type question um, occurring most often, score with the highest frequency or the most popular score. But uh, yeah, concentrate on those first two letters to help you remember that mode is the score that occurs most often and sometimes we can have more than one mode for a set of scores as well. Nice short video this one. Thanks for listening. Uh, see you next time. PeterBlakeMath.com All the best for your studies.